Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So uh, today's gonna be a two-in-one situation as there is a pre-release and I think I said this previously but like in case there are pre-releases which is like more often than not uh, recently I'd rather do like a two-in-one video when it is true that is testing my patience it is also almost like rewarding when I get to see maybe a connection between the two music videos and yeah, I also think this is more practical this way you know so I know it's Chinese back well pun intended and you know whenever there's a group that's been gone for a little while I always like try to rack my brain into remembering when their last comeback was and I was almost certain like don't call me was their last comeback before the members I mean some of the members went to the military but judging from what YouTube is telling me might have been Atlantis but regardless of which one it was what YouTube is telling me is that it's been two years and weirdly enough I think I'm like thankful to be able to say this but like it didn't really feel like Shiny was gone for too long because like while some of the members were in the military some were still active solo weren't they and, and i think just that alone helps but also to me even though i haven't really been like following them closely all throughout their career they were one of the first group that like got me really into k-pop and so even though i wasn't by their side every steps of their career they were always a piece of my journey if that makes sense and so i feel still very attached to them because without them i wouldn't be here you know as a fan and so yeah even though it's been like two years since we've got a a comeback from shiny i don't really think my brain or my heart had the time to process their absence if that makes sense thankfully honestly because i know that for the groups it feels like fucking forever so anyway so let's check the pre-release first let's go I think is that a plastic do you ever feel like a plastic bag I want to feel same Is that Linus? Why am I getting emotional? Nothing really new here, but like, why am I specifically getting emotional here? This song isn't sad. Oh, that's a beautiful cat. Oh, yo. Oh, maybe I did miss them all a lot, a lot more than I thought I did. <laughs> Asian plastic bags and plastic bags. Yeah.
I know I'm old when I see like a boy group on the beach and it reminds me of One Direction. <laughs> Maybe I didn't miss them a lot more than I thought I did. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Like, honestly, at this point, if you were to take a shot every time I cry on my channel while at least I tear up, damn. <laughs> you would not be sober by now. I think if I were to explain the feelings that this triggered, this feeling and the, the emotions when, as an adult, you go back to your childhood neighborhood and you just walk like around retracing some of like the the steps you took when you were little and it's just filled with like nostalgia good memory basically this song and music video and the voices and everything somehow triggered like memories like my own memories from from back then it just really feels like they're taking you by the hand and you know, walk... Oh, no, yeah, no. It's almost like you as an adult taking the hand of yourself, of you when you were little, and walking down, you know, the streets of your childhood neighborhood, like I said. And so you're being reminded of all of those memories of you growing up in that neighborhood. Yeah, I don't know, it just triggers something that is so warm, but also like, it's like this realization that, ah, I've aged. <laughs> But in a beautiful way, it's not like, not aging with just the years, you know, but like I've matured, I've learned, I've grown. This is exactly what this song is triggering when it comes to feelings and everything. I love how the map gradually gets bigger as they, you know, arrive to the destination or whatever. This part right here is the part that feels so... This, that part right there felt almost like divine. Yeah. And also I love how this right here feels like you're like drawing in a breath, getting ready to take your flight, you know? And that's when you're just like feeling free. That's beautiful. I don't know why, I don't know, is that a trumpet? Whatever that instrument is, it's so like City Hunter. Do you know the uh, the anime? It's so that. There's also like a lot of symbolism in here, I think. Also the aquamarine color, obviously. Yeah. The same way the big plastic bag burst at the end with like releasing tiny, tons of tiny uh, plastic bags. Like that was the visual representation of like the feelings. All right, so Hodge. This is probably gonna be so different, isn't it? Probably. I like the purple. All right, let's go. <laughs> so cool. Is he Oh, he is. Okay, my bad. Sorry. I didn't see him. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Why is this very overdose? We go, we go, we go hard like a criminal. Oh, hard like a flow, not on one hand. I mean, no human can take a coach and say, Oh, hey, monks, you see, not that does it. Hard like a criminal, hard 
Okay. <laughs> this right here. Is first gen coded, isn't it? There are so many songs recently that have like a second, uh, what is it, a first gen? K pop first gen influences? Oh. Sure. His voice with the piano. Sick. <laughs> or hard eight. Okay. They ate hard. Gotcha. Was that a message? <laughs> there are so oh, that was really well, that's a, that's fine. Usually I complain when music videos when songs don't go over three minutes. It's fine. I was about to say there are so many songs recently that well, maybe not so many songs, but like I can think of like a few songs right off the bat when I heard this song. Very SM, right? Yes, we agree. I mean, I, I think we are. I hope so. <laughs> but right off the bat, what I get reminded of is AO, first of all, by NCT127, but also this, this like very 2000, yes, I mean, what is it? Years to 2000, like dance uh, movies, yeah. American dance movies like, like Honey and everything that I talked about in Shalala. And so this right here gives me like the perfect mix of Ayo and Shalala, but done a la sauce shiny. And also the music video, are we back in the boxes? I mean, no, okay, I'm saying this because of this. I'm just saying like this right here, are we back in the boxes, SM? <laughs> Like this song could have been in cities. That's kind of like the thing with like uh, label signatures and like patterns that are not repeat. Well, repeated could be it. I don't mean it in like a negative way here, whatever. There's a certain pattern that we are used to seeing. Here, this is SM coded. There is no doubt about it. So, what I'm trying to say, while I can still see NCD127 doing this song, I know the delivery and the end result will have felt very different from what Shani has brought us this time around. Regardless of if there is a pattern or like a signature sound or whatnot, each group still brings their own unique touch to the song that make it theirs at the end of the day, even if you can still imagine another group doing it. So Shiny's artistry is like so peculiar, I would say. There is something classical about this. This right here feels like the beginning of like a Charlie Chaplin's movie, you know, with the piano and everything. If they added like some grain on top of that, I could so easily see like a short movie in black and white, do you know? Oh my god, they are inside the piano! So, is there a piano all throughout the song? No, 
know, right? But it's still like the red thread. <laughs> I love this part. This is so fashion. The bridges are probably always going to be my favorite part of SM song. Like this is fantastic. That's so cool. I still think they could have ended the music video with a shot with Onyu. From my understanding, Onyu has, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, some like health issues, and so he's not. I don't. I remember reading that he did not necessarily participate in the concert that they had but he might be taking part in the promotion for this comeback like in cases like this one where a member's health is at stake regardless of how greedy i might be the member's health is the priority and so i just hope that sm is not pushing on you take part in the promotion even though he isn't ready or whatnot once again i am and forever will be advocating for like the person uh you know health so yeah bottom line uh pre-release and uh, the title track, I don't think I'll connect it. <laughs> if there is a connection, I don't think I've seen it. My heart belongs to the feeling. But heart also brings out so much nostalgia. It's funny how TNX is actually right here at the bottom because when reacting to TNX, I did say that some of the part of the song reminded me of Shiny. And I'm gonna say something that I also said in my reaction to TNX, I think, but like I said this is kind of like a time capsule kind of music because even though I wasn't born, or maybe I was, I don't remember, but like, I don't remember listening to this while growing up, you know, this kind of like first gen, K-pop first gen music, I don't remember it. And so when I say it's a time capsule kind of music, it's like the groups from nowadays are making me discover or perhaps rediscover sometimes a genre that I was not used to, I did not I did not listen to was growing up and so they make me enjoy a genre, a style that was unknown and that I really like. Oh, the song does not reach three minutes though, is what it is. The music video reaches three minutes but not the song. That's why it felt short. Oh, I see, okay. Well, anyways, I find hard to be really easy to listen to incredibly catchy like the chorus is so freaking catchy the bridge is fantastic as always i think i might have to get used to the piano but the piano being like red thread of this whole thing for it to be so present throughout the song makes sense so yeah i think that might just be like the only part that i might get used to have to get used to but other than that that was a really fun comeback i just love how it's ending with like hard eight and so i am interpreting this as they ate hard anyways i'm gonna wrap it up here thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next one bye